there's a popular saying, good things are never cheap and cheap things are never good. This the Dental Association warns applies especially to cheap dental work. Uh, a lot of citizens are getting fooled by the prices because they're seeing these lower, lower prices and they're also seeing convenience. Or people are working out of their hair saloons and they're telling you, come and we'll do a whitening for you one time. Or come and we'll put on veneers for you. But you're working out of a barber shop. Ram Nanan warns that these unregistered dentists have been causing major damage to patients. We all talk about it because we all see patients and they're coming in with rampant infections. Um, one of the most prevalent infections that we are seeing from patients who go by these unregistered individuals, it would be gum disease. He says these patients end up right back at the registered clinics. But the chairman of the dental council says they have no power to address the issue. The board itself, we have the power to deal with registered dentists. Because if you're not registered with us, then we don't have any power to at least address that issue. If there's a complaint, the complaint has to go through the police, right? And the police has to investigate it. And then they have to do a process through the DPP office before the dental board could get involved to assist in prosecuting that person. And the likelihood of a police officer investigating a complaint of a patient about a, when a quack or then a unregistered dentist. In these days of the other crime issues we have, I don't think it's going to be a high priority. Here's how you can identify a fake dentist. You look for certificates. Um, one big telltale sign is if the person is telling you that, that they can't sign a prescription or they can't sign your insurance forms. That's a major red flag, right? The association is now calling on Health Minister Terence Dial Singh to immediately step in. But the health minister tells CNC3 News that it is not his responsibility and directed us to the medical board. The media is unwilling to go to the people who are responsible for regulating their professions. And they expect the minister to do it. And I will not fall into that political trap. Let Dr. Neil Singh account for the stewardship of his medical board. But the medical board president says there's only so much the board can do. But when you're a non-doctor posing as a doctor, when you're a doctor from a foreign country, practicing here without a license, when you're a doctor who have been, who have been found guilty of an offense in another country and come back to practice here, that's where our, our problems, our limitations are. We, our hands are tied with these non-doctors who, who are claiming to be, to be doctors who are doing work. I can send you evidence of complaints. I can send you the evidence we have of doctors writing prescriptions who are not doctors. Fictitious prescriptions being, being used to, 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 to defraud insurance companies. We have plenty of, we have two or three of those. So it's a real thing. But again, it is how do we manage with it? We don't have the necessary resources to run down these non-doctors or whatever. All we can do is refer to the police, and the police themselves are swamped with four cases. K. Marie Fletcher, CNC3 News.